Today is the day. I have a hair appointment in like 15 minutes. I'm so excited. By the way, these are my tires. Since I got my snow tires on, they threw them back here and I just haven't taken them out for some reason. I don't know, I forgot honestly until I was driving down the road and they were clanking around back there. <laughs> but anyways, I have been talking about getting my hair cut for months. Like literally since I started my YouTube channel probably because I'm just kind of sick of having long hair right now. I wanted to keep it long for the summer just because I feel like it's fun to have long hair. Um, but then in the winter, I feel like it's just such a hassle. So I told myself, okay, once fall hits, I'm gonna chop it off so it's short for winter and then hopefully by summer it'll be growing out again. My hair is pretty long. I don't even know if you can tell. It goes down to like, I don't know, my waist. And I'm gonna cut it, I think, up to here. That seems pretty short. My dad and I were like measuring it this morning. I think I'm gonna take eight or nine inches off, somewhere in there, but I'm not gonna say that. I'm just gonna say like, I'm just gonna show her a length. I'm honestly so excited. I've only cut my hair short one other time in my life, which was in high school. I cut it to my shoulders it's so like about right here i'm gonna go a few inches longer than that because i feel like when it was up here i just didn't know how to style it hopefully it looks cute when i style it but honestly it's just hair it'll grow back i did curl my hair i had it curled yesterday um and then i kind of touched it up today because i don't know i'm just like bye this is my last day having long hair for a while. I've also been thinking about getting my hair colored. I've never ever colored my hair in my life. I'm not a blonde anymore. I have like almost brunette hair. If I did anything to it, honestly, I would get a balayage so that my roots were like my actual hair color and then just the ends are lighter. You guys know what a balayage is. I don't have to explain it to you, but, but anyways, I'm gonna go in to my appointment. I'm so excited. And then, when I come out, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Later. You guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. What do we think? <laughs> I'm like so happy. I love it. I feel like I'm just like in shock a little bit. Like I just like feel like this isn't real. I know it's not that big of a deal. It's just hair. I don't know. This is just like such a different look for me because... I've had long hair pretty much my entire life. I guess this is like mid-length hair, not short, but she curled it for me, which I usually don't ask for or like, if they say, oh, do you want me to like style your hair? I usually am like, oh no, that's okay. But she worded it. She was like, how do you want your hair styled? Should we put a wave in it? So I was like, oh yeah, sure, let's do it. Cause that's how I came in with my hair. Obviously you guys just saw that. So I'm so excited. I'm so excited to like be able to style my hair faster and just, I don't know. Anyways, I'm happy with it. Love it. Bye, now I have short hair and I don't have to use 10 gallons of product. I'm gonna go home now and I'll see y'all in a little bit. I stopped to grab a kombucha on the way home, of course, of course, but I forgot to say, I cut off nine inches, I think, and <laughs> they gave me a little bag with my hair in it so that I can donate it if I want to and I've never done that before. So I have to find a place to do that. They told me the name of a place that was like really good for children. So I'm gonna have to do that, but I don't know. It's not like a ton of hair. That's not all of it. There are two different ponytails, but I don't know. Hopefully they can do something good with it. The next day. Welcome back to my bathroom. I have some weird lighting in here, so we're just gonna deal with that. Today I need to do what I would call my maintenance routine. I feel like people started calling this self-care, but I don't like that term because self-care sounds like, I don't know, you're pampering yourself or something. But honestly, this is like so much work to me. I am very negligent with doing my upkeep. I don't even know, like upkeep, maintenance, whatever. So I'm gonna knock some things out today. First, I'm gonna put some oil in my hair. I'm gonna wash my hair today, even even though I got it washed yesterday when I got my hair cut. I just want to. I don't know. I want to do a K18 hair mask and I have to wash my hair. So I'm going to do that. But first, I'm going to douse my hair in oil and let it sit for a while before I get in and shampoo it. I'm just going to use this argan oil. I don't know. It's from Target. Since I got my hair cut and everything is like fresh and healthy, I want to do a really good job of keeping my hair healthy. 
since I do want to grow it out for next summer, I gotta make sure I'm not damaging it or anything weird. I'm feeling a little groggy this morning. I think I'm supposed to get my period. I'm having a little bit of cramping and I'm super nervous because my period pain is like out of this world. Okay, I'm just gonna rub that oil into my hair and make sure that it absorbs. I'm getting so hot, I need to take this rub off. Then I'm just gonna clip my hair up and out my face. And it can sit for a while. Now I'm gonna dye my eyebrows. I just started doing this like a month ago and it is the biggest game changer for me. I feel like some of my eyebrow hairs are blonde and it makes it look not as full, but when I dye them, I don't have to fill them in as much. I have this. It's called, I guess technically it's for like gray hairs in your hair, but I use it on my eyebrows. I actually have two shades. I have medium brown and light brown. Light brown was just a little too dark for the front of my brows, so I kind of will fill in the tail end of my brows with that one. I feel like that just adds a little bit of dimension. These are super nice too. They, they come with the dye, the developer a brush and a little thing to mix it in for a pretty good price i feel like i can link this if anyone is interested wait i think i was saying i have medium brown and light brown and the light brown was too dark for me obviously i got those mixed up i'm going to start out by filling in from here to here on my eyebrow with the lighter shade so i'll just try to show as best as i can Okay, I know this looks crazy, but now I'm going to go in with the darker shade and do the tail end of my eyebrow and then blend that area together. Now I have crazy eyebrows. I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit. It, the package says three to seven minutes, so. Also, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I have this like bruise on my forehead. I think it's from a gua sha. Oops tried one the other day like two days ago or something and I did do it on my forehead a little bit but I did it so lightly I am so confused why it would have left a mark and it's been there for two days. I did try the gua sha also before I went to sleep so I didn't really see any results. Um, I just wanted to try it out. Alright, brows are done. They just look slightly more full and filled in. Now I'm gonna dye my eyelashes. I'm kind of nervous about this because the last few times I've done this, I got the dye in my eyes and it stings so bad. And I'm pretty sure it says on this packaging that that can make you go blind. And I really don't want that. I do have naturally dark lashes, but the tips of them are blonde. So I'm just gonna focus on the tips and try really hard to keep it out of my eyes. I basically just take the product on a little spoolie. Whoa, we're on the side. And then I brush it into the brow, or these aren't my eyebrows. And then I brush it to, on to the very tips of my eyelashes, kind of like mascara. Okay, I just did that super lightly. A few moments later. Luckily, my eyes are not burning. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. Ah, I'm scared. Okay, I think we are good. I did get some of the dye on my eyelids and around my eyes. When I get in the shower, I'm going to wash my face and I'm just going to be sure to get my eyelashes around my eyelids and my eyebrows to make sure that any of the residue is getting washed off. Before I get in the shower, I am going to dry brush. This is another thing that I just started. I feel like I got a super janky, just cheap dry brush. So I'm not going to recommend this one, but I'm going to use it on my legs. This honestly has made my legs so soft. I've been doing it for like the past two days and holy cow. What I have learned from other people on the internet is just to make sure that you're going towards your heart. Like I said, this has just made my legs so incredibly soft. I also think that if you do this on the back of your thighs, it helps with cellulite. I'm not sure. I've just heard that from other folks, so in the shower i am going to shave and i have to share this this is the phillips one blade you need this this is a game changer for me 
I always struggle. I shave my bits, okay? I've always done this super elaborate shaving routine. I feel like it still wouldn't even get a super close shave. I tried this like two weeks ago or something. This, you would not even know that hair was growing there. I don't know what kind of crack is in this thing, but it's so good. Also, when I was first using it, I was like being careful because I was like, will this cut me? I don't know, but I was applying a lot of pressure once I got more comfortable with it and no cuts, nothing. I will say I did not use it underneath, down, down under, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> or on my armpits or anything. And I honestly like to use these razors for that part because I don't know, I feel like I've never had a problem with it and these give me a close shave down there. I don't shave my legs because I have blonde hair on my legs. It's just a waste of time for me. Also, it's winter. There's no reason to be doing that. Also, just for fun, I'll try the gua sha and we can see if there's any results. You guys, I almost forgot. Oral care. Oh my gosh, this is so important. I am very elaborate with this as well. I use a normal toothbrush. Sorry, my shower is running, by the way. I use a normal toothbrush to brush my tongue. I don't like a tongue brush. Well, I've never tried one, but the, I don't know, it just like grosses me out. I don't know why. I don't know, even thinking about it, I'm like, whoa. But anyways, I use a toothbrush to brush my tongue. Then I go in with mouthwash. This doesn't have alcohol in it. This is more for like your breath. Then I go in with floss. Apparently these are bad for you. So I just got some cocoa floss instead they don't have like the picks they just have normal floss but i'm just gonna go through the rest of these and then i'll start using that because i don't want to throw this away since i paid for it whatever it still is gonna work to floss your teeth but i guess i don't know you're getting some sort of chemical in your gums and it's not good but anyways tongue brush mouthwash floss and then go in with a toothbrush. You don't have to have a electric toothbrush. Um, and then some good toothpaste, fluoride, no fluoride, I don't know, whatever, it's up to you. I use both, sue me. I had to sit down for a second, but before I did that, I did put on some body lotion. I just used the Naturium. I actually didn't put any skincare on yet. I wanted my skin to kind of cool down because I am going to shave it. I use these Shiseido razors. You can just get them on Amazon. I would say they're fairly cheap, but I do use three, at least two, every time that I shave my face because the blade gets dull super fast and I don't wanna cut myself or anything weird. So I'm just gonna do this. I feel like this is boring and I don't need to show it. I basically do everything except for around my eyes. Last night, for some reason, I was like thinking about some random people that I haven't seen in a long time, like since high school and stuff. So I was looking people up on LinkedIn. <laughs> And honestly, I feel like I'm gonna start sliding into people's DMs on LinkedIn. I just feel like it's the place to be, you know? I'm not super active on social media at all. Like I don't post on Instagram very often. And honestly, if somebody did DM me on Instagram, I probably wouldn't reply. <laughs> actually have dm'd somebody on instagram though but it was like a semi well-known person i wouldn't say well-known especially not well-known by women but yeah that didn't work out i just rinsed my face once i finished shaving and then i'm gonna go in with some skincare oh also i did the gua sha i didn't do it on my forehead this time because i don't want that to get any worse Honestly, I feel like it didn't make a difference. I am so not used to having short hair, obviously. Literally just got my hair cut yesterday. I was gonna do the K18 mask in my hair today, but when I was in the shower, I put conditioner in. I didn't think about it. And you're supposed to use this in place of your conditioner, so I'm not gonna use it. And honestly, I probably don't need to because my hair, like I said, it's like fresh cut, healthy. Um, but I'll go in with some of the K18 oil. This is just the mini version, and then you only need like three drops. The oil is also a heat protectant, so you can use this before you style your hair. I am going to let my hair air dry for a little bit before I blow dry it. I haven't decided what I'm going to do, but I do want to try to style it with my Dyson Airwrap just to see what we're working with. Sunlight, feel like a lifetime inside my room. Mm -hmm. Screaming underwater 
You know what keeps me sinking to the core. Okay, I didn't end up really styling my hair. I just ran my round brush attachment through it to give it a little bit of volume. But honestly, I don't feel very good. My cramps are kicking in right now. I just need to chill for a little bit. But I am glad that I got that done because I know I'm not gonna do it for like the next three days. I feel like my eyebrows are looking pretty dark on camera right now, but they will definitely lighten up as I like wash my face and stuff. I am being so annoying touching my hair, but it's just so different. But I am going to end this video here and I'll see you guys in my next video.